Hi, my name is Patrick. I'm the author of Webify Your Business, Internet Marketing Secrets for the Self-Employed. Uh, this video is offering some specific social media tips, internet marketing strategies uh, for chiropractors and dentists, people in those types of professions. Okay. Uh, now look, there's a ton of stuff you can do. That's what the book is all about. Uh, but this is intended specifically for your profession. So what can you do uh, to really do some marketing online? Well, first and foremost, uh, take a look at Facebook, right? Facebook has over 400 million users today. Uh, right now it's March 2010. Uh, over 400 million users, that's incredible. Your customers are on Facebook. Your prospects are on Facebook. And you can do pay-per-click advertising on Facebook, okay? Now the interesting thing about Facebook is you can target demographically in a very specific way. Right, you can find exactly the kinds of customers you want. Maybe you want men, you want women, you want married couples, you want people, you know, whatever it might be. You can pick the age, you can pick the sex, uh, and you can pick the location. So you can pick your community and like a 10 mile radius around that community. Okay? And you can do Facebook advertising and offer some sort of a discount okay? uh, as an enticement for people to come. Now, in combination with that, I'm going to mesh these two ideas together, but in combination with that, let's talk about Yelp. Okay, so Facebook's one platform. I'm going to set that aside. Yelp. Yelp is a website where people can write reviews of your business. They can write reviews for you. Okay. Uh, now, just to set your mind at ease, 85% of Yelp reviews are positive. Uh, so there is a culture online today, on the Internet today, where if you can justify saying something good, you usually do. People usually do. Unless they have some just crazy vendetta to settle. Okay, but that's not that common. 85% of reviews on Yelp are three, four, or five stars. Okay. Uh, but these Yelp reviews rank really high. Yelp is a very powerful website. And if you have some good reviews on Yelp, that can rank on the first page of Google even if you don't have a website. Okay. So think about that. If you don't have a website or you don't like your website or whatever, I'm going to talk about websites next. But if you don't even have a website, you can still be on the first page of Google by having a profile on Yelp. Okay. What do you have to do? You have to get onto Yelp and claim your business. Okay. And say, this is my business. They're going to verify that. Okay. Once they've verified it, then you've claimed your business profile on Yelp. That means you can go on there, you can put photos, more information, description, you can check off your hours of operation and all the different specifics of your business, uh, which is very smart to do. Okay, And then start encouraging Yelp reviews. Now, if you get someone who's never, like let's say you ask your buddy, right? please write me a review on Yelp. And that person gets on Yelp, they've never done a thing on Yelp, and they write one review and it's for you. Uh, that's not going to fly. Yelp has a very sophisticated algorithm. Uh, they know that that's a fake review uh, and it's going to disappear. Okay, What you want are active Yelpers, people who are already on Yelp themselves and they're using the platform. You want those people to write reviews for you. Okay, Now, let's put, we've talked about Facebook, we've talked about Yelp, let's put them together. When you're doing Facebook pay-per-click advertising, you can search for people who use the word Yelp in their interests. Okay, Who's doing that? Who is doing that? The only people who are doing that are people who are active Yelpers and love Yelp. They take pride in being an active Yelper. That's precisely who you want, right? That's exactly who you want. That's the, those are the people you want to write you a great review. Now, I've done this myself for clients. So if you did a search on Facebook for your city with a 10-mile radius, okay, uh, and the one we did was for a massage therapist. We looked for women between 40 and 55. Uh, in this community, a 10 mile radius, they use the word Yelp in their profile. Guess how many there were? 20. 20 people. There were 20 women, okay, uh, that matched that criteria. So we ran a Facebook pay per click ad. Uh, the only people who saw that ad were those 20 women, okay? We offered them a 75% discount. 75% discount. Why? Who cares? These are exactly the people you want. This is exactly. Uh, it was brilliant, and, and those people were like, holy smokes, and they thought everyone was seeing the ad, but the only people who saw the ad were people who used Yelp, okay? 75% uh, off, give us a try, amazing massage, right? And people came in, and she did a spectacular job, and she got Yelp reviews, okay? Not only did she get new clients, uh, she gave them an enticement to give her a try for the first time. You probably give discounts, too, 
to some people. I mean, it depends. Dentistry, not. But chiropractor, I mean, being a chiropractor, I don't know your business that well, okay? I'm in internet marketing. The point is, you want people to come in and give you a try. Uh, and giving them an incentive, maybe you give them 50% off to come in and try you for the, for, the, for the first time. But if you get some Yelp reviews in exchange for that, you've just killed two birds with one stone, okay? Uh, other ideas. I've got a few other ideas here. All right. When I search for a dentist online, if I just put in dentist, I'm going to get, you know, some dentist in New York, right? I live in the San Francisco Bay Area, right? So intuitively, when I search for a dentist, I'm going to put dentist San Francisco, or I live in Walnut Creek. So it'll be dentist Walnut Creek, okay? Chiropractor Walnut Creek. That's what I'm going to search for, right? Uh, and that's the same in your case. People who are searching for your business are searching for what, what your business is, dentist, chiropractor, whatever, and your city name. Okay, it's intuitive. Uh, so that means you should optimize for your city name on your website. Okay, uh, and here's the deal. What you can do, and I, I've done this for clients too, where we set up, uh, we create it, you know, Google has no inherent preference for your homepage, right? On your website, you have your homepage, but you might have 13 or 14 other pages. Google sees them all as the same. And in the search listings, when someone searches for something, they're going to present the pages that match best to the phrase that was being searched on, okay? So what we've done, what I've done many times for clients is I've built like 10 or 20 or even 30 pages somewhere deep down on the website where the average person may not even notice that they're there. Uh, but all these pages were targeting one particular keyword phrase and a particular city. Okay, so where I live, I live in Walnut Creek, California. The communities around Walnut Creek include Clayton, Concord, Pleasant Hill, Alamo, Lafayette, uh, Danville, San Ramon. There's all these communities around Walnut Creek and, of course, Walnut Creek, too. So we built tons of pages where the one I, it, that it was for was actually for a garbage removal company. They have, like, a big truck and they remove trash and waste. So we built a page called Garbage Trash Waste Removal Walnut Creek. Garbage Trash, there's a different page, Garbage Trash Waste Removal, Concord, California. Garbage Trash Waste Removal, Danville, California. All these different cities. We created these different pages, okay? And each page was precision optimized for that particular phrase, okay? He's, he's ranking everywhere. I mean, it's incredible. 80% of this guy's business is coming from his website today. Because if you search for garbage removal, trash removal, or waste removal in any one of 27 cities, we heard in that particular case, we targeted 27 cities, he's on the first page of Google for 27 different cities. Think about how your business could change. Uh, if you were showing up on the first page of Google for your favorite phrase and the city name of your community and maybe a half a dozen or a dozen or two dozen communities near you, Okay, you can do that kind of stuff. So think about how you can optimize uh, your website.